So today we're in Australia, in northern New South Wales, approximately halfway between Sydney and Brisbane, and we're heading to wonderful Red Rock. We're going to leave the highway from Arawara, head through Quindy Beach, and then on to Red Rock. Please find this detailed map with directions from either way of the highway in the description below. Ginnigay Najawan, this is Gumbangya land, and welcome to the Solitary Islands Coastal Walk a beautiful walking ground of the Gambanga people. Red Rock is the northernmost village of the Coast Coast and popular with those enjoying nature and the outdoors. At 40 kilometres from Coffs Harbour, Red Rock is an easy drive from the city or 10 minutes from Morgulga. The quiet village is nestled in the estuaries of the pristine Karindi River. The recreation area near the mouth of the river is an idyllic sheltered location to spend a day while enjoying sensational views up and down the river. It features a child's playground, benches, shaded picnic tables, plenty of grassy areas and trees to laze under, and amenities including a boat ramp. Red Rock is named after the stunning red rock formations at the mouth and headlands of the estuary. Now it might seem a little odd, but in order to get to the Red Rock Beach, you have to go through the Reflections Caravan Park. You just stick to the main road and this will take you out to the beach headland area. I sped up this video, so it does look like we're speeding a little bit, but we did stick to the speed limit. And you'll be able to see on your left, as we're coming up around here, a little bush turkey or brush turkey walking across the road. Once you arrive at the headland, head right and walk down the paved walking area, which you can also push a wheelchair through to the beautiful Red Rock Beach. There's also some information signs there if you want to read anything more about the Solitary Islands marine rules and conditions in terms of entering waters and also using the beach.
The Gumbangi name for red rock is Najulan, meaning ear. When looked at from above, the large turns in the estuary make the shape of an ear. Red Rock and Yeager National Park adjoin Solitary Islands Marine Park. Marine life includes species common to the area as far reaching as Great Barrier Reef and Tasmania. This amazing diversity is attributed to the mixing of cool currents flowing northwards from Tasman Sea with warmer East Australian currents flowing southward from the equator. The Red Rock itself is a 20 metre high headland composed of 300 million year old jasper, a form of red quartz. It is beautiful to wander around this ancient rock formation. However, please be mindful and respectful of Red Rock Headland. The Garby elders speak of the regrettable interactions between people and the Europeans, most notably being the Red Rock Massacre in the 1800s. Europeans have said they've chased Gumbanga people from the camp to the river in the headlands, where many innocent people lost their lives. A memorial has been established on the headland. You can see it as you walk up to mark the event and recognise the brutality that occurred at this site. Gumbanga descendants, especially women, still avoid this headland. The significance of this place and the rebirthing of culture will never be forgotten. Red Rock, to take the first part of the coastal scenic walk, you need to start down Red Rock and head down Red Rock Beach. This is about a 12.5 kilometre walk and make sure you look for the tidal information before you embark on that. As we say goodbye to beautiful Red Rock, we are staying in the Jaeger coastal area and heading to Station Creek Campground, which is in a national park. It's only a few kilometres as the crow flies, but it's gonna take us 20 kilometres to get to Station Creek uh, via the roads. And it's also, part of it is a four wheel drive track. As with all our videos, I place information about the national parks we visit, including fire and flood information and links to the photographic gear that I use along these travels. We hope that you can join us then.